Hey guys, Nilius Julius here. Today we'll be playing a game called Pixel Piracy. As you can see, this is an alpha version. It says it right here. It's version 0.5.0.4. Um, so it's really not finished yet. It's on Steam in the early access um, store part. So I bought this game yesterday or two days ago. And I played a little bit of it. So um, as you can see right here, only for about 30 minutes. So not a lot of time, but I know the basics and I know how to play it. So let's get started. Um, first of all, we need a nice name. Um, it doesn't sound really piratey, but it's fine. Um, what should the world be called? Our world will be called... Oh, I really don't know. Pyrocracy. Yes. Uh, I don't know what the different modes are. Um, I guess hardcore is like no saving allowed. I'm not sure. So we're not going to do it arena mode. I've got no clue. So we'll just play in princess mode. At least for now. So let's start. So you start by um, answering a couple of um, couple of questions. What do you think about pyrocracy? It's sickening, filled with pirates, monsters and hardships. Or fascinating, an intriguing assortment of inhabitants roam the land. Or unpleasant, a province filled with dire corners and unrelenting troubles. So do we want a lot of monsters or a lot of mystery? I think we want monsters. Yes, we want monsters. What is the most recent event that happened in the land? A great war tore the populace apart which will mean more ship encounters, or a plague that killed many innocent. That will mean there will be a plague, I'm not sure what, it'll, what that will do. Or a very rare comet flyby brought along bad omens. That means we will have long and dangerous nights. I uh, will go for the um, Great War, more ship encounters. Sounds like you want to fight a lot of ships of course. Um, how do you remember your father? He was a brave captain. His nickname was Kurai. I can't pronounce that. I think that's not supposed to be like that. Um, anyhow, that will give us a falcon blade. Or he was a lazy alcoholic known as Hork the Flatulent. Which will give us extra starting pirates. Which is not that great, really. Um, or he was a cowardly sailor that went by the name of Poonpens. This gives us 15 extra talent points. Talent points you spend on, uh, on your skills. So... Yeah. Probably want the, want the blade. You want the blade or the extra points. I'll go for the extra points. Extra talent points. Alright. Now how do I look? Well, I, I think this is nice, but we can just... just click change look and you'll get a random... Uh, and if you if you hear the voices, um, some of them remind me of uh, of worms, like the earlier worms games. Ah, this this looks good. Yes, this is us. Let's begin the game. All right. So how it works is yes, we can move. Um, by, by moving, just clicking, clicking somewhere and we move there, left clicking, will move us. Right now I'm going to fight this crap. Oh, I missed, that's not good. Attacking the crap. Alright, so we killed the crap. And uh, this is your health bar, but you regenerate health over time, as you could have seen here. So, um, it's not really too bad, you take a little bit of damage. Gave some XP as well. Alright, so... You move around the screen by using the A and D key, so I can, I can like scroll around and then move somewhere by clicking. Right now, this is a, uh, a town. Um, this is the uh, tavern. So if you go here, we can hire some... Um, yeah, we can hire some crew. Cause this is um, These are the people we can hire. Let's take a look if we can find some nice people. Um, now as you can see, right here, they all have a... Uh, they have a cost to hire them, and this is our total gold. So, 
I don't really want to hire a very expensive one because I don't have a lot of money. And um, some other thing you might wanna uh, might wanna remember is that um, you have to uh, pay them regularly in order to keep the morale up. Otherwise, they will just stop responding to your orders. So also, if you go to your crew, you can see right now we only have one slot available um, to hire a crew in. And as we level up, we get more slots so we can hire more crew members. Um, let's see. They also have a stat value. So this one would have about a stat value. This one has a stat value of 112 and it costs 324. And this one is 122 and it would cost 120 gold more. So that's not really worth it anyways. Um, let's see if we can find a, guy, uh, a great, great guy. Oh, he seems nice. Do I want him? He was a home wrecker. Home wrecker. I'm not really sure of if that if that matters. If it means like you get these great stats or something. I I don't know yet. Mm. Now we pr we can we could use the home wrecker. I mean, Warren Slachter. Slachter. That's uh, that's his name. Yes. All right. So we'll hire that one. <coughs> Exit tavern. Now we'll move on to here. This is the weapon shop. Um, do you wanna? We can we can look at our crew right now. Here I am. I've got uh, oh yeah, I've got some talent talent points left because we took uh, plus fifteen talent points from the start of the game. So this the this is the crew screen. As you can see right here. It's the name, the crew member. You can here pay salary. Now you you don't have to pay yourself a lot. Um, seventy seven. That's not a lot. But the others usually take from anywhere between 100 and 200 um, but right now we're happy so we don't have to pay but if the morale would be lower if it would be a yellow or red even they, they will they will stop following orders if you don't pay them so uh, you need a lot of money now you can see some uh, some extra stuff here he's a leader this pirate takes charge of the situation no matter how dire he is scarred many scars line this man's body front and back he has seen battle and he was an archaeologist, too young for his time. He had no Nazis to fight. All right, sure. No grills to uncover and no crystal skulls to find. Right, so um, Indiana Jones reference there. Um, here, this is these are the the weapons you can equip. You can have a uh, well, we have a cutlass right now as a uh, melee weapon. We could have a ranged weapon, they would, they would show up here if I click on it and then I can equip it. And you can have a passive equip, which is uh, like a potion or other stuff. Anyway, anyhow, uh, this is your basic attack. And right now it's level 0, but it, this is a skill that you will level by just doing it. So if we fight, we will slowly level up this skill and it will give us plus 5% damage per, um, per level. Um, and these are our other stats. Now... These are the starting stats that we got, which is also random every time, so it's a little bit, um, well, you just have to see what you get every time you start the game. Um, we have a couple of points in strength. Strength is just the damage that you do. Vitality um, directly um, involves your, your life, so 20 points of vitality means 20 HP maximum. It also affects HP regen, armor, and the amount of life you get on level up. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I don't, I don't see a, a value here. It might be the same as the armor, but I, I, I don't know how this one works because it just doesn't show up here. Um, intelligence means that you get extra talent points per level up or something. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't really know how much you get normally, so I'm, I, I don't know. Um, and dexterity is just uh, range damage and the amount of experience you get. Uh, agility is the dodge chance, move speed chance, and attack speed. And luck is crit chance and chance for special events and such. So what you want probably is if your if your leader dies, if your captain dies, you just lose. So what I like to do is just buff up his vitality and his strength, so he becomes an awesome fighter. Alright, let's see, and I want some more luck as well. Alright, so we spend all of our points here. Um, he has one talent point to spend. We'll uh, spend it on... Oh, wow. 
He was a slachter, all right. He was a home wrecker. He would seduce spouses and blackmail them for money. The last governor he crossed didn't pay and instead decided to hire an assassin to trail him. Well, that's <laughs> good to know. He has a lot of agility. I'm not sure how good that will be, what that will do, but... Alright, we'll just increase his vitality for now because with this... With this vitality he'll probably die very soon. We don't really want that to happen. What you can also do is uh, you can set grapple behavior. Um, that means that I if you set it to no, that means he won't leave the ship if you give orders to your crew. Um, so that's um, probably very useful if you have a cook or something who just who you don't want to fight. So yeah. Now let's see if we can. Uh, if we need some weapons. Uh, we probably need one weapon for our guy because he is currently carrying. Oh, a cutlass as well. All right, so we don't need to buy any weapons. That's fine. This is the what shop. Is this a food shop? Yeah, so you also need food. Um, if your food goes to 0% or one of your um, guys has no um, hunger uh, no hunger bar left, um, he will die and you will lose. So um, make sure you get enough food. I'm not sure what the rum does, the drinking. Um, it might also increase morale. I haven't bought it yet because it's pretty expensive. So for now we'll, ju we'll just do this. Let's see over here. This is the... Uh, the extra stuff store you can buy um, several skills here you need to buy skills like the cleaning skill um, your crew won't clean your ship so everything will just stay on the ship and they won't clean it if you don't have anyone with a cleaning skill or uh, they won't cook your food if you don't have cooking skill so yeah but uh, you can also buy like an elixir here to heal your health or a grindstone to increase uh, damage on your weapon so yeah um, I got 176 gold. Do I wanna? I can't buy the cooking skill. Map reading. Hmm. Fishing, fast counter attack, sailing. Toilet study. Learn how to poop properly. Yeah, that's also um, uh, well, pretty important part because otherwise they'll just do it all over the ship and they won't clean it up because you don't have anyone with cleaning skill. So. Yeah, it it's a little bit weird, but all right, we'll just uh, it, it's a weird game, but we'll <laughs> we'll see uh, how that goes. Um, I probably just wanna do I want a cleaning skill? No, I'll just save the rest of the money because I want to get a cooking cooking skill later on. All right, so right now we don't have a ship yet. If you go out here to the ocean, we don't have a ship, so I'm going to order. My own man here, left click is my captain, right click is all of your crew, that's the red dot. So, right now there's no ship here, because we have to build our own ship. Oh, it's already getting dark soon? Alright, um, so we have to build our own ship. So we go to ship setup, and, um, well, these are the things you can build on your ship. So right now we need a hull first, because, well, we have nothing. So, we'll get some wooden blocks. One, uh, place them like there. All right, and now we can add them to the green dots. So, right here we can build out a ship. Three, four, five, I'll make it six. Oh, I can't build that way, because it's probably too close to the shore. Six long, so that means I can't place that one there either. All right, so we're going to delete this one. Build one here. Add it here and add one here, and as you can see, it automatically rotates. And you could also, oh, my bad, you could also rotate it by left clicking uh, on it. So I want it to be like this. Now, I haven't seen this, but um, you, you're supposed to also put some um, walls on here because otherwise, your crew might just jump off. Um, they can't swim, so if they get into the water they immediately drown and die so yeah that's not a good thing so this is our ship for now uh, we can also add our food to it and they will eat it if they're hungry but um, their hunger is still full so I'm not going to do that right now and yeah this is uh, the ship we will start with so I'll click on that um, then they will grapple as you can see right here so if you had grapple off that means they wouldn't grapple off the ship oh and uh, 
well. Ah, thank you, birds. Thank you. So yeah, this will all stay here until we get someone with cleaning. So what are we going to do right now? We got a ship, we got some crew. We're going to the world map. Uh, as you can see right here, this is our ship. Let's see. And um, we can move, well, pretty much everywhere. We could also move here if we want. It's a distance of five and then sail to destination. But you can see what happens in the, on, the surrounding, uh, on the surrounding ones. And right here, this is a, a legendary enemy, in danger of ten, which is, what is the ten thousand? I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, so what I'm going to try right now is we got some pirates around us and some islands. Uh, islands usually have or animals on them or some native inhabitants, which will also attack you. They're they're hostile usually. Um, a pirate of danger one, we should probably be able to handle. So I'm going to say right. sail to destination. Right now it will ask me to save the game and I'm going to save the game often because um, I, I'm still not very good at it. So what happens right now is we're, sa we're sailing to our destination. As you can see in the top right screen, uh, top, top right corner of the screen, um, this is our progress um, towards sailing to our destination. So what happens during the sailing is your crew will get a little bit of experience as well. So they get passive experience. Um, and some of them leveled up. So right now we have arrived at the destination. A hostile encounter. What are we going to do, Captain? We, we want to interact or escape. We have a 60% chance to escape. I want to interact because I went to this pirate to get a fight. Let's engage them. Alright. What I'm going to do. Alright. As you can see, they have one or two pirates. I think there are two. They are two on top of each other. But, um, as I said, our crew leveled up. So I'm going to spend some points. We got some uh, town points over here, so I'm going to tell you to get some more points in strength. And I believe it's for every ten points of strength you get plus one damage, so you don't need quite a lot of points. Um, now you also leveled. I'm not going to give you more dodge chance, I guess, because that would be no. Hmm. I'll give you more vitality because I don't want you to die. Right, so what we do right now is we click on their ship and our, our guys will go there. Now, what I did notice, uh, I'm going to test it right here, is um, your, your crew members, I don't, I don't know who they attack. I mean, you can left click someone, but your right click is just a move order and doesn't attack. You have a, a attack button here, but it doesn't seem to work very well. So right now they're just fighting. Um, let's hope we can win this. Uh oh, doesn't look very good though. Thinking some guys. <laughs> uh oh. So yeah, 